such a lovely day. Nothing could possibly ruin this moment. What's that? Hyrule Warriors isn't a Zelda game, not really. Like when Nintendo let other developers put their spin on some classic series with F-Zero GX made by Sega and Star Fox Assault made by Namco, this is a chance for the makers of Dynasty Warriors to apply their magic formula to the Zelda legend. And this is kind of a confession for me, this is my first Warriors game. I mean, if you've listened to the BitSocket podcast, you'll know that I've played 5 minutes of Dynasty Warriors 8 on Scott's PS4, but this is the first time that I've owned a Warriors game, so I'm coming into this pretty much blind. All you hear about the Warriors games is that they're boring, repetitive and ugly, and that the hack and slash formula gets old and stale very quickly, as thousands of soldiers fall to your relentless button mashing. But that's a load of rubbish. I've had heaps of fun running around as Link, Sheik, Impa and the gang, fighting for territory. If it was a simple case of bashing away at a controller ad nauseum, I could see why folk could get bored of it, but there's so much more to the game than that. The thing is, there's more to it than just slaying armies after armies after armies. There's also the satisfying Zelda aspect to the game too, like bosses, like opening chests and finding new items, like wee little tiny little you wouldn't go as far as call them puzzles, but definitely something to break up the apparent monotony of slashing armies after armies after armies, as I say. The thing is, even when you boil it down to hacking and slashing, it's still great fun. The guys that make this game have been at it for a while, and by now they've honed their craft. The fighting in Hyrule Warriors is technical, with a variety of combos and special moves for each fighter, and elemental attacks that have different effects in the battlefield. Unlocking and improving your moveset becomes a bit of an addiction because it opens up new and flashier ways to lay waste to hundreds of foes. And it's not just your average goons you have to fight either. Taking command posts involves coaxing out a squad leader and dealing with them, and some of Zelda's iconic characters and bosses return for a rematch. The first few bosses are pretty easy, but before long you'll have to have your dodging and technical skills up to scratch to take advantage of the enemy's weakness, otherwise you'll be seeing your hearts disappearing and the battlefield glow ever more red. There's also a real satisfaction to slowly progressing through these battlefields, turning the map from red to blue as you take territory and spawn more friendly soldiers. There's even a light tactical edge to the game. Do you continue forward towards the boss's lair or do you head back to protect an allied base that's within seconds of falling to the enemy? I can see now why the Warriors games are so popular and why they've stood the test of time. There's so much more than endless, mindless button bashing. And it's all wrapped up in a loving package to Zelda fans, obviously made by fans of the game themselves. The main story mode throws together favourite characters and levels from past Zelda games. You can run around a field of smiling Gorons from Ocarina of Time, or play as the effortlessly cool Sheik, whose ninja heart playing skills are a joy to watch. The moment you first play Darunia with his big hammer is almost enough to cement Game of the Year status. I mean, look at him! Then there's Adventure Mode, where you do wee self-contained battles to work your way through the map from the first Zelda game, complete with chiptune music and a recreated intro. And that there is the heart of why I love Hyrule Warriors. This game is a dream come true for folk like me. When you play Zelda games, you read about wars from ages past, and Hyrule's history is full of giant battles between the armies of good and evil. But we only ever got to go one lone adventurer, taking on long forgotten tombs and temples by himself. When I first started playing Zelda games at the age of 12, I would dream about a game that finally let me take part in those battles, and now I can. It's not as solid as a real Zelda game, with the odd frame rate issue. It's not as mechanically sound as a real Zelda game, but then few games are. Basically, Hyrule Warriors may not always play like a dream, but for me, and I imagine many others, it definitely feels like a dream that has finally come true. <laughs>